In a Washington Post op-ed this morning, President Biden proposing major changes to the Supreme Court and a constitutional amendment on presidential immunity. Biden says he wants to limit the broad presidential immunity established in the landmark ruling from the high court earlier this month. Biden writing, it would make clear that there is no immunity for crimes a former president committed while in office. He's also proposing term limits for the justices, where a president would appoint a justice every two years and the justice would spend 18 years on the high court. Biden writes, it would reduce the chance that any single presidency radically alters the makeup of the court for generations to come. And Biden is calling for a Supreme Court code of conduct. He says the current ethics code is weak and self-enforced. Vice President Kamala Harris endorsing the proposal as she sees a boost in favorability. We have a fight ahead of us. New polling from ABC News and Ipsos shows Harris now has a favorability of 43 percent, up from 35 percent before Biden dropped out of the race. Former President Trump's favorability has dropped. The same poll shows he's now at 36 percent, down from 40 percent after the Republican National Convention and assassination attempt. Trump attacking Harris over the weekend. A Kamala Harris presidency means four more years of extremism, weakness, failure, chaos, and probably World War III. Biden will be talking about his proposals this afternoon in Austin, Texas, at the LBJ Presidential Library, where he also will be marking the 60th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.